Good morning, guys. This is part one of the cargo trailer conversion. This part will include a Max Fan Deluxe install and Renergy solar panel install. I'm installing two 100 watt solar panels and the Max Fan. It, the cargo trailer doesn't have a vent right now, so it's going to be all from scratch. So we'll show you as it goes. You see the roof trusses. You need to measure the roof trusses. So they're two foot. So I'm going to start with putting the brackets on the panels, spacing them two foot apart, the holes. So let's do that. Okay, oddly enough, there's no holes on the panel to space it two foot apart. So what I'm going to do is put them on there like so, and then measure from one hole and just make a mark and drill a hole. Same thing on the other side, drill a hole. That way I got my two foot spacing and off to the next step. From the end to about where it's going to be, which is about nine inches. And then I go inside. And if the ceiling's not covered like this one, I just mark my nine inches from the end Put a mark on both sides and then I take my drill with a small bit smaller than the screws I'm using and I just go up straight through the stud in the middle of the stud straight up through the roof so it tells me right where the center of the stud is and gives me a, a little pilot hole for the uh, self tappers to go through and then we'll go to the next step after this is done Okay, now you take butyl tape and stick it on all the mounts. Take a box or something to set on the, uh, well, take the protective stuff off first. And then take a box on the side you're not going to screw. Set this here. Set it up there. Start your screws. If you leave it up like this, you can see where the holes are. Start those screws. Pull the box out. Screw your screws down the rest of the way on this side. I always use butyl tape or something that stays pliable because this metal will contract. And if you use something rigid like liquid nail or something like that, It'll wind up breaking free and then you'll have leaks. 
So I usually do this and then I flood it. Flood it with uh, self-leveling uh, material that they use on uh, top of motorhomes. So that's it for this side. I'll put the screws in the middle ones and they'll land right on the studs and then I'll do the other side. Screws. Just don't touch it to the roof because <laughs> this stuff is sticky. You'll have to start all over. Run your screw a little bit through. Or you can see it. it goes into the hole that you drilled. There you go. It's started. Watch the other side. Don't let it don't let it touch the roof. Poke that screw through. Through a little. You can see it. There's your hole. There you go. Down a little. Move my ladder so I can reach it. Pull the box out. Bam. You'll be able to tell if you got that stud. <laughs> goes right in that means you missed it I did it this way on three trailers never had a leak just don't strip it out As he come back up after it gets warm with a hand a hand uh, driver and uh, do it with my hand and I'm not gonna hook anything up right now because I don't have my uh, gland for the roof I'm waiting for that to come in the mail the gland comes, I'll hook the panels together, run the cable to the back, put the gland in. I'll show you that too. That'll probably be uh, later on. Okay, off to the next thing. So I need a 14 by 14 opening. So I'll go measure to the center and seven inches on each side. Put a mark on each side and I'll build a little wooden frame out of two by twos and uh, screw that to this aluminum and then cut the hole so let's build the frame so here's the finished product just use some two by twos framed it in 14 by 14 show you the roof Just need to uh, put some self-leveling sealant around all the brackets here and then around the max fan, around the whole edge and all the screws. I left it in storage so I'll have to grab it next week and take care of it. But that's the fan and solar panels. Just need to uh, Wait till I get the gland for the wires. And that's it.